All right, what's happening, fam? LAL movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. This is uh, She Doesn't Have an Eye for Men Part 2. A few of y'all asked me for a part two. I just made one, a part two, but it was too long. And I, I'm going to just get to some bullet points. Okay, one is you weren't taught to have an eye for men because they didn't tell you the, the way they told us guys. See, they used to tell us, if you like her, look at her mother, look at her sisters, look at her aunts, look at the females in her family, look at um, what they talk about, their conversations, where their mind is, because who she is now is cool, but you got to get a gauge on who she might be in the future. But because a lot of women, don't, you know, the, the fatherless thing or the father's not being in the household, you don't necessarily know how this goes. So you don't know how these guys age over time. So you, don't, you, you can get a, a, a glimpse of what is and that's it. So a lot of y'all stuck on this potential because y'all can't see, y'all can't see the, the, where, where it could go. Another thing about that is, y'all don't pay attention to the guys who are not putting, you, you're not putting, paying attention to the context when people put their best foot forward. Like, if you go into a sports bar and everybody's dressed to the nines, nines and putting their best foot forward at a sports bar, and it's a guy in a sports bar, he's clean, but he's not dressed up like that. He ain't trying to be out to impress nobody, but he's clean. That's probably who you should talk to. Because he probably can dress better, but these people at this sports bar, that's probably the best they got. Because they dressed up to go to a sports bar a little too much, you know. And the whole lesson my grandmother used to tell me was, you know, women don't shouldn't want to be with men who think they're prettier than women. And that's what happens when you out on the scene. Guys a little too prissy. Um, and y'all gravitate to those guys because women, for some odd reason, approach dating men the way men approach women. So. You know, he's pretty. Look at his outfit. Look at his shoes. You know, oh, okay. But that has, that, that's, that's a good exterior. But you got to have that conversation to have substance, to see if there's anything under that. And you don't do that because you just get caught by, by your eye like guys do. You see, the difference between men and women with this is if a pretty girl starts to get on our nerves, we're going to get rid of her. Sometimes y'all stay stuck with them, so y'all got to see this coming. And because this, you're going for these guys who you, you see them at their best, it only goes downhill. Y'all don't think about uh, the guys that you see regular. Those are gradual guys. The, the, better, the, better, the more you grow, the better he's going to get. But y'all can't see this because people haven't taught y'all this. The same thing uh, sexually. Most women ain't getting uh, orgasms like that. I'm just being honest. You meet a guy who gives you an orgasm the first time, and that's cool, but you compare him to a guy who went full out Mr. Marcus and Lexington Steel on you, not, but you're not thinking about it like, damn, he, he was a super freak that night, you know? Problem was, you forgot it was all downhill from then. He can't keep up that shit no more, you know? But the guy who made you, you, you orgasm, he get freakier because he just, he gauging you. Like, shit, how, how, how serious are we? Okay, we move up a level. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. You know, sexually and in a relationship. That's why you don't have an eye for men because you don't see, you don't, when you look at potential, you look at a finished product or a guy you can mold. But you don't look at a guy who... You don't see him in his own lane and just let and, and get in tune with him and see, wait a minute. This guy is not, he's not being, he's not, he's not on 10 right now. He's on three, but he can get to 10 anytime he feel like. Because you didn't have a conversation with him and you didn't get to know him. And you didn't realize, oh, damn. So I, this guy is chilling now. And this is the same guy, if I see him in a suit, I'm going to be like, shit, who the fuck, what the, how that happen? Same thing with the scruffy look sometimes. You know, that's, that's straight up game. And sometimes you need to talk to the guys who, are, who look, who are 
cool to talk to in or in and are in a scruffy phase. Like they get their hair cut, all right. They get their, you know, they get their beard trim, all right. But if you like them, they're attractive, they got a sense of humor, they smart, you need to peep that. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out on something. Um, another reason ladies don't have an eye is because of their girlfriends. Don't listen to your girlfriend just because she read the Red Book and the Cosmopolitan and the AL and some lady gave y'all some advice about men that if you ask the man, he's like, what? That is retarded. That's stupid. Don't, don't let, No, don't do that stupid shit. You know, it's that. You know, because you're, you're dating men through the eyes of how women think they should, that, what we want and you without just asking us and that's the thing about more men in your lives to talk to you like look we don't we don't operate like that you know that's why you see more women pulling up oh i've got, i went to this college i've got this degree and i'm certified in this and i've got this and that and i work here and i make this amount of money and i drive this kind of car and i live here most guys don't care and the guys that do care you need to be concerned about I mean, if a guy cares, that they, if a guy that got himself together cares, he's just making sure you are who you say you are, and that's it. But he wants to get to know you the person. But this, but all your accolades, men don't care about women's accolades. If, that's, if a woman has accolades and dreams and ambitions, we love it. It's a cool thing. But we don't care. Now, saying that is also saying this. We all, you got to You don't have. A, you need to have an eye for, for being able to see. The growth and, and not stagnate it. You know, people have goals, and people are trying to grow, and a lot of times women get with men and they have these issues of abandonment, so they want the guy to stop doing what he's doing, and then you, and then the guy starts to fall off, and you don't like him, because you didn't have an eye for his ambition. So sometimes. Having an eye is not an eye for the person, but the eye for their direction. You got to have foresight to see where they're going. Because if you see where the man's going in life, you can see the, the evolution of him in certain aspects, the, the transformation, the growth. But if you don't have an eye for knowing where he's going, not him selling you a bullshit story and you believing it and him just bullshitting about it. No, actually accept him for who he is. And if he tells you he's doing what he's doing, he got to show you. And when he shows you like, okay, if a guy's going this way, he, he's got to be this, this, this. He's got to do these things. Because you don't have an eye for character. And that's the problem. You, gotta, you have to have, a, have more than just the eye sometimes. You got to listen to the music this guy listens to. You got to listen to, watch the shows this guy likes. You got to look at the books this guy reads. You have to have an eye for the, the, the people that he looks up to. You gotta have an eye for who his who he likes his who he deems as his mentors. All of that goes into play to when you interact with him, you gotta you you're learning who you're dealing with. So you don't get caught up on the back end, um on the couch looking at him like, fuck is this? Why the fuck did I end up with this motherfucker? Because you didn't have a you wasn't paying attention to the signs of what he could be and what he is. Uh I hope that added something to it. I'm going to get out of here now. If I need more, if y'all need more, let me know. Peace.